you doing? Oh, my word. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jackal. So, for today, we're doing a watercolor painting creativity task. <laughs> <laughs> so, I absolutely love playing around with watercolor paint. This is just one of the palettes. Yeah, that that's I like have. one of the hundred. One of the hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and today we're going to be painting a flamingo, okay? I know that these two girls don't really do the painting thing, but I thought it would be a quick, easy, convenient way to have some fun. So, we're going to do this step by step, and we're going to do this in little segments, okay? okay. So, I'm going to do it first, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it, okay? So that it ends up looking something like that. And it's then, not going to look like that, you do know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look like that, don't stress. Okay, so this is a stencil that I just cut out, so it's going to help us with the body of the bird. So what's going to happen is you're going to see, okay, right, the, the body's roughly going to be here. Me? Okay. Can you sketch it so? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place it where I roughly want the body. And then I'm going to take the bigger of my two paintbrushes. Can you pick up your bigger paintbrush, please? Okay, guys, so using the big brush, we are now going to attempt to uh, make the spirit's body. Okay, so... What's going to happen is you use the pink paint, not the shocking paint, Kyra. Okay. I like the shocking pink. And then you're going to obviously place the stencil in a good place and then you're going to do that. Okay. So now the thing is though, you don't want to make it too dense with paint. So you want to get the middle nice and, you know, pink. That's okay, let's, let's, let's attempt this. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> it's not that hard, you just do this. There we go. What's so difficult about that? It's hard. So, it's after so using the stencil, it is now time to draw the neck. Which does get a bit tricky so you guys need to look. You're using the same pink but you don't want to go and dip it into water again. You want it the darker pink like that. Okay. So the way you're going to do this is... So once you've painted the neck you can make it a little more flamingo like. Sorry. Don't show my mom's terrible. Don't show my <laughs> Can I put hair on mom? Like, if you <laughs> want to, you can do that. Okay, okay let's try. I will make you look a bit better. It's like a dragon! Mom is so gebrek, like, it's like ghost here and then it. Jodie's is like. I'm trying Mine to show like, you how to do that. <laughs> okay, the next part is a little bit tricky, but it's quite cool. So you're going to draw the beak. Something like that. How does she do that? And then you can just color in the beak. Okay, and then the next thing you do is you put a little eye in. And then legs. Voila! There's your flamingo. <laughs> Wanna try? You think it's easy? <laughs> you can, it's not easy. I feel like a two can, but it's all good. <laughs> in that Disney so song so I'm good at. video. No, so it's time to shine. It's time to shine. shine. Fun. Okay guys, so this is what we were going for. I'm not sure if you can entirely see this, but 
okay? And this is how it turned out. That's how hers turned out. And hers. <laughs> Mon, Mon turned out as a feeding dragon. <laughs> so, so I have a fire breathing Maleficent who's eating one of Maleficent's horns. Um, she's the one legged flamingo from Naomi and Juliet. just because doing art reminds me a lot about her and all the way in England I hope you're doing well Kyra your shout out this shout out goes to John T. Gray yeah John T. I'm giving a shout out to Stephen Amal who you should go follow him on his Instagram account actually he has all these inspiring talks sometimes and just how he copes in his journey okay guys those are the shout outs to the awesome peeps I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please give it a big thumbs up Jackal, Jackal out, out.